despite the fact that Ford Scorpio bodies are not galvanized, good anti-corrosion protection of the bottom and high-quality paintwork protect the metal from rust well. The only place where it can still appear is the arches of the rear wings. If the car has been operated for a long time with killed front shock absorbers, there may be cracks in the places of the stubborn glasses. Compared to classmates Ford Scorpio has the greatest width and, accordingly, its interior is very spacious. The second row can accommodate even four passengers. All seats are comfortable and comfortable. Especially the rear ones, the backs of which in the Gear versions are equipped with electric adjustments. These versions have another interesting feature. The front seats provide pneumatic adjustment of the lumbar support, which is performed using a special rubber pair. There are no complaints about the ergonomics of the driver's seat. Moreover, even in basic modifications, drivers can change the height of the steering column. The only thing that causes criticism is the poor airflow of the windows of the front doors, which often fog up. Another advantage of the car is the impressive size of the luggage compartment, which, with the rear seats folded down, is one of the largest among classmates. The trunk volume for a hatchback is 1,350 liters, or a sedan, 1,390 liters, or a station wagon, 2,180 liters, and in a stowed state, 440L, 490L, and 550L, respectively. Engine. The Scorpio powertrain range includes eight petrol four, and six-cylinder engines ranging from 1.8 to 2.9 liters and three four-cylinder diesel engines with a volume of 2.5 liters. Their motor resource is 250 to 400,000 kilometers. In gasoline versions equipped with a distribution fuel injection system, the airflow meter and throttle position sensor may fail, and in carburetor versions, the engine cold start membrane often breaks. The fluid coupling of the fan of the cooling system is also not very reliable. Transmission. Cars were equipped with four or five speed manual and four speed automatic gearboxes. Over time, in the mechanics, the shank seal and the speedometer drive seal may leak. On vehicles with high mileage, the gearbox mounting pads wear out, which leads to its curvature relative to the cardan shaft and, as a result, the failure of the elastomer coupling. Suspension. The Scorpio suspension is quite soft comfortable and copes well with the bumps of our roads without causing inconvenience to the driver and his passengers. Although at the same time the chassis has its weaknesses. Ball bearings nurse 30 to 50,000 kilometers and they change only together with the lever. Often, after 40 to 60,000 kilometers, you have to change the front silent blocks. The disease of the rear suspension, if the silent blocks are not replaced in time, they need to be changed every 100,000 kilometers, the rear levers bend which causes the rear wheels to stand sideways and the tires wear unevenly. Steering. Rack and pinion steering is somewhat imposing. As standard, all cars were equipped with power steering. For durable operation of the booster pump, you must remember to change the oil in the system, especially if it has a black tint. Brake system. The Scorpio's brakes are quite effective, because even the basic equipment includes ABS and disc brakes front and rear. Please note that the thickness of the front brake discs must be at least 22.2 mm, otherwise, the brake cylinder will have too much stroke, which may cause it to seize. Ford Scorpio is quite a bargain, inexpensive and at the same time comfortable business class car. It is the best fit for family people who are primarily interested in the functionality and spaciousness of the car, and in this respect Scorpio is at its best.